if you fancy yourself some extra crispy bacon and or daily FIFA 16 content, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, hey guys, how are you doing? And welcome back to another player review on our channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at Silva striker Mbaye Niang. Plays at AC Milan, French player, looks very sick, his card. And as you can see, I paid 16,000 coins for him. In nine goals, he scored seven. In nine games, I'm sorry, he scored seven goals for me and got two assists. Now, jumping into the in-game stats, he's very fast and he's also got a good bit of strength. And also, his dribbling is very, very good. At 84, for a silver player, that's really impressive, <laughs> really. He's a similar player to Muriel, I would say, but a bit stronger. But I personally, I prefer Muriel a lot. Now, here's why. Um, it's pretty easy with him to get past defenses, as you can see by the clips, but most of the time, he just shoots it straight at the goalkeeper or he misses. <laughs> his finishing, oh, if it wasn't for his finishing, he would he would be insane. Like He's strong, he's tall, um, but yeah, his finishing is just lets him down a lot. And also his positioning and run making, I feel, is not very impressive on him. Now, he's most of the time, he's up front, but he doesn't... You know, I, I can run a defense, it's just waiting for him to make the run and he just won't do it. Now, that's completely different with Muriel, because Muriel was amazing for me with run making, and yeah, he's only like 5,000 coins more at the moment, so if I was you, I would definitely pick Muriel over Niang if you want to choose, but if you want to put them both up, up, up front, definitely go for it. Now, yeah, let, let's go back to his pros though now he's very strong I mean very strong I don't <laughs> he's quite strong he, you know he's got 75 um, strength or something like that he can hold off defenders quite well as I said his pace and his dribbling are pretty good and also his free kicks surprisingly as you can see I score a nice free kick right here and <laughs> also before I almost um, well I, I, I troubled the keeper a lot from like I don't know how much it was, like 50 yards out or something, it was insane. And yeah, also his heading is decent, as you can see, pretty bad 8 goal right there, but <laughs> he still managed to put it in. But yeah, no, his heading, hit it because corner or crosses, I mean, are really that effective in this year's FIFA. And I didn't put it as a pro, because he didn't really win any headers, but yeah. Alright, so let's sum it up. He's got great pace, good dribbling. Forster skills, Forster weak foot, uh, which I forgot to mention, but very nice. He's got good free kicks <coughs> and good, decent strength, but his finishing, his positioning, run making, it's just very disappointing for me. As well as his passing, I mean, you don't really, you can argue if you need passing in a striker, but I think this is FIFA, you definitely need a bit of passing in your striker, so yeah, he's gonna get <laughs> a 6.9 out of 10. See you later.